suffering severe disabilities after midwives made mistakes at her birth. 10-year-old Charlie Hooper's brain is believed to function at the level of a newborn baby. She cannot speak or walk. She is almost completely blind. But her parents, Jen and Mark Hooper, are determined to give her the best family life they can by stopping her growing into a woman. Hopefully, if she really does have a deep understanding, she'll know that I did this out of love for her. Each year, she kept on suffering violent seizures. Her muscles were weakened beyond use. There was only one change. She kept getting bigger and more difficult to manage. An answer to the Hooper's dilemma came after hearing about a severely disabled girl in Seattle named Ashley. She was given hormones to stop her from growing, a process called growth attenuation, and had her uterus removed to spare her the pain of menstruation. One of my friends bought me this newspaper article and, and I was reading it just going, oh my God, this is brilliant, like amazing. Because I, I knew what was coming and it was a future that I didn't think we were gonna be able to avoid for her. A future where as Charlie grew, her parents feared her world would grow smaller. Family outings like their vacation in Bali would become more difficult. They couldn't carry her. It would be a life with hoists and machinery to move her. But getting Charlie the controversial treatment would be difficult. Many feel the treatment is an affront to human rights. I really believe that all people are entitled to have the optimal life possible, which means making decisions for themselves, making choices, and um, people don't just choose to be made small for the convenience of others. We didn't stomp on her human rights. As far as I'm concerned, we did the opposite than that. You know, surely she's got the right to live as good a life as she can, as pain-free as she can, as, as healthy as she can, as involved and participatory as she can. Growth attenuation had never been carried out before on a disabled child in New Zealand. Dr. Paul Hoffman initially was opposed to actively stunting a child's growth until he met Charlie. She's at the severest end of the spectrum. This is a girl who is blind, who can't move, who has to be fed, who is totally dependent on all daily cares on her parents. An ethics panel initially rejected the request for treatment. A solution came when the Hoopers found a doctor in South Korea to administer the hormones, allowing Dr. Hoffman to continue to treat her back home for safety reasons. Within days, the family and doctors say they noticed a change. They have caused her muscle spasms to be much less. She seems to be in less pain and the family have stated to me that that's the first time she, they felt she smiled spontaneously, she's been happier. Charlie had stopped growing by age eight after an ethics board approved a hysterectomy. Her uterus was removed to avoid the painful process of menstrual growth. I'm how I'm proud of what we did. We achieved the impossible and we worked damn hard to do it. Cost a lot of money, cost a lot of time. It was a hugely stressful thing and it shouldn't have been any of that, but we managed it. Managing to give Charlie the best life they can for as long as they can. Emily Roseman, Associated Press.